All right, what's going on here? Why am I not getting any sound? The third day of the field trip. Shopping district in front of the station, Hagakure Ramen. Mm, oh man, this is really something. This place serves the best ramen in town. Is that so? How are you eating in a bear suit? When we were filming, a lot of times I came here <coughs> instead of eating box lunches. Okay. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. All up in your boy lap. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good thing. Last episode, Yukiko was all up on your boy. This flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. You about to get fat. Hmm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. What? Hey, yo, who is this bowl? Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The hug of curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh, well, this is just as good. Okay. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Nah, she's finna get stabbed. Sure, no prob. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Are you that pretty? What the heck? Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. Probably. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? What the? Bro, Teddy. You didn't eat it. Did Teddy, you? come on, man. You didn't finish, so... Teddy, <laughs> Teddy, you can't be doing that, man. I was going to finish it. You can't be doing that, man. Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. Bro, stupid. You little liar. Give me that check. Let's see here. One, two... Ten balls? balls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. <laughs> Bro, get out. Get out. I was going to finish mine. Get out. They were there. What is up with you? I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. I did too. Yeah. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting one. A t-shirt. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way. Yo! Bro, Kanji, you, you getting a little weird. D dude. Hey, he ain't moving. Is he hibernating? The freak? Hey. Don't, don't don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <clears throat> oh my god. I thought bro was dead. I was worried. Tell me, Chevy. I thought bro leave died. I got worried, bro. Yeah, leave him behind, dude. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. Too bad. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Hey, peace out, gang. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me. <clears throat> hey, I really can't move. And I don't have the money for a return ticket. Then why did you come in the first place? It's almost 9-11. Farewell, Teddy. Oh, dang. We shall leave you here. Along with our memories of youth. Damn. It's raps for bro. What you looking at? Mind your business. We all headed back to the rendezvous point and head back home. All the days of the school trip passed by safely.
Hey, little girl. I got you a shirt. Welcome home. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was great. Hey, come with me next time. Yep, for sure. Um, I want to go to Destiny Sea too. There's this roller coaster that goes whoosh no. into the water and I don't go to water parks. I do not go to water parks. Hey, I got you a shirt. Try it on. Wow. Thanks. If you stretch the neck of this shirt, I will stretch your That sounds terribly wrong. That sounds terribly wrong. Hold on. If you stretch the neck of this shirt, I'll, I'll snap your neck. I don't know. What I was about That's better. What I was about to say earlier just sounded terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> No problem, little one. She thanked me out of modesty. Oh, hi, Dad. What do you think you are walking to my house like that? Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. Aww. <coughs> One shot. <laughs> I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. That giant bag for one shirt? You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. Yeah, I'm different. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. Oh, yeah. You talk to him much? I guess so. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. Yeah. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. He has a kind look in his eyes. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. I am. Please refrain from talking to me. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. You got a cigarette in his mouth? Dude, why are you smoking in the house? Nanako, can you get the bath ready? Bro, you a terrible person. You are in the house with a little girl smoking. Get out. Put that out. Go smoke outside. What are you doing? You got a whole porch, dude. It's 9-11. Let's go. What are we gonna do today on this? What are we gonna do on 9-11? Uh, How are we spending 9-11? Alrighty, here he say. Oh, Senpai. I just finished my shift in the store. Are you ready? Are you available? My apologies. I read it wrong. The hill overlooking the town. I came here at recent request, as she say she like it here. When I first got to the town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sound of the river, sound of the birds, sound of the rain. I felt I could forget, reset, find myself that way. But have you ever thought that you're pushing yourself too far, or that you were just acting? Sometimes. <coughs> oh. I see, but I guess that makes sense. No one can be their normal self all the time, huh? I feel like I've been able to relax after coming to Inaba. Meeting all of you, laughing together, watching the store, reading comics, playing with the cat. When I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior on them. Oh, but grandma doesn't ask me anything. You know, like why I quit, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking of doing next. She just talks about tofu. She says I'm like tofu. I had to ask, I'm like tofu. I had to ask her what that meant. The way she explained it, tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. But even though it stands out because it's not like any other food, it can be mixed in with any recipe or flavor. Tofu's incredible. Isn't tofu like bland and tasteless? I don't know, I've never had it. I'm nothing like that. Tough. I I was actually bullied at school before I made my date. What is the camera doing? This is getting on my nerves. Stop doing that. Stay in one place. 
Stop moving. Stop moving. Come on. Stop moving. There we go. I was actually bullied at school before I made my debut. I wasn't good at talking and always looked at my feet. I was alone the entire time. But I didn't have a problem with that. I, I, no one expected anything of me. And then the application my relatives sent without telling me passed the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted a chance to change myself. And just by chance, I won. When it happened, I panicked, thinking maybe I should turn their offer down. Then I thought, if I appeared on TV, I could make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through with it. After a while, I realized something. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi on to on the street, that's not the real me. Rosette is the one everyone likes, the fictional character they sold to the public. It's the same with you, isn't it? You don't have to deny it, I won't be mad. You're with me right now because I'm Rosette, yeah? Look, on the real, I don't even know you. Like, bro, until until you got kidnapped, bro, until you got kidnapped, I didn't even know who Rosette was. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't a fair question, but I'm happy you said so. When I got back to school after my debut, no one bullied me. I was happy at first with people I didn't even know talking to me, but they was, weren't suddenly interested in Risei Kuchikawa. They wanted to hang out with Rosette. The bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. At my heart, I've always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? I was the one who wanted to change, and. But none of that matters now. I'm done being resent. Now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have the power that can help everyone. I love that. This time I'm gonna change into a reset that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for. Reset smiling, I understand her. We done got closer. She ranked five. If that ain't helpful, then I don't know what is. If I ain't the GOAT, then who is? If I ain't the GOAT, then who is? If I ain't the GOAT, then who is? Welcome back. If I ain't the GOAT, then who is? Your boy finna chef up. Chalk and sushi. Yeah, I'm searching this up. I have never made sushi. I've never even ate sushi before. The one time I, I one time I ate sushi, I had, a, I had a scare that I was gonna die. Because I'm allergic to shellfish. The person who, I, I, I took a bite of the sushi, they offered me some sushi, I ate it. And then I thought about it. Wait a second. There's no shellfish in there, is it? He was like, oh, dang, hold on. I don't remember. And I said, well, it's already in my mouth. So I, like, I already got the raw meat in my mouth. So if I die, I, I, I can't even, if, even if I spit it out, I'm going to die. So might as well just enjoy the dang food. <laughs> you feel me? There was nothing in there, though. It was cool. Then the eggs. You need to do some exotic things to become adults anyway. <laughs> you cannot be talking to kids like this. Bruh, she is definitely a predator, bruh. She is a threat. She is a threat to the safety of school. Who do you think you are standing outside of my class? I'm sick of you. I just thought about it. I wonder how much it messes with Rise. Whenever um whenever Yosuke refers to her as Rosette and fangirls over her, I wonder how much that messes with her. Oh. Oh, hi Kinzer. It's seeing you can come ain't busy. I got Pravardi! Let's go. Yes. Tatsuhime Shrine. She seemed embarrassed for some reason. Um. Um. Do you remember Kasai, the waitress? She seems to have told everyone about you. Now they're saying I sh should bring you home. Adults is so quick to poke fun at me. It's such a hassle, isn't it? But of course, my family runs an inn, so guests come by all the time. Maybe next time you could just come in. Oh, Yuki! 
Oh, the deputy mayor. The people at the inn seem very busy. Something going on? Huh? Oh, no. Today was the interview for the travel show. On TV? That's great! You'll try and make Inaba look inviting, won't you? Ha ha! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go. An interview? Uh huh, it's for a travel show. It looks like a serious show, and we, we agreed to do it because my mother and I won't be filmed. But they need me to help clean, so I have to go now. Good, but. There you are, Yuki! Kasai, what's wrong? Oh, the TV crew came, but don't go to the end. It was a trick. It's those people from the News of the Weird show. And I think they're looking for you, so stay put. You got that? Huh? Uh, okay. There you are! Ha ha! No use in hiding, future manager of the Cursed Inn. C cursed Inn? We know all about that murder case. Mayuma Yamano stayed at your place, right? And you guys have been hurting, what with the drop-in visitors, huh? So I came up with a great idea. The high school manager's embarrassing struggle, renovating the cursed inn. How's that grab you? The customers will be pouring in, I tell you. I don't understand what you... I want you to be the star. When we introduce the hot springs, let us film a little bathing. What is wrong? This is a child! She is freaking... She's 17! What is wrong with you? Minus manager Stevie's that bro kill yourself Bro, I can't stand pedophiles. What did Jordan say in that new song? Said he had 24 hours to live. He killing every pedophile. That's what we need to happen. We need to murder pedophiles, bro They need to be publicly hung Yesterday was 9-11. We need a 9-12 where all pedophiles Spontaneously combust God, please make that happen. Oh my good. I freaking hate you pedophiles. That sounds like a great idea. You were the person at the freaking, um, at the ramen shop. You bomb. Kill yourself. Listen, you. Anyway, please leave. We're not interested in your coverage. You're refusing? Look, kid. You don't know the power of television, do you? Well, I can't blame you. Living in the countryside. We're trying to help you out here. I mean, do you want the patrons to dry up? If you're going to be the next manager, I'm trusting you to make the right decision. I won't be the next manager. Oh, really, huh? Is that so? Well, you just say the word and I can hook you up with a better gig than running this dump. Bro, I'm going to shoot you. You can call yourself the former high school innkeeper. Ha, I'm already liking this side of that. Why don't you? Bro, shut up. How dare you say that to Yuki? It's okay. Let him say what he wants. He'll go home when he gets it all out. What the? You say your inn has been going for generations, but all that means is that it's crappy and run down. Tradition is so last year. You'd be better off if you did close up shop. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Spread out the futon and go straight in. Yo! The hell up. Don't you say another word about our end! Who take your stupid idea seriously? From now on, we refuse any coverage from your station! Is that how you want to play it? I'll plaster those words all over prime time. We'll see how that feels. I'll kill you! Go ahead, by any means! And we'll respond with an official complaint to your sponsors! This ain't sounding good, sir. Ugh. <sighs> I said some incredible things. Ha ha! <laughs> uh. Oh, I should contact again. I'll see you later. Yukiko went crazy. Love it. I just kind of lost it when he was insulting everyone, as you should. But was I scary? You were cool. Really? Thank goodness. There was a time not long ago, whenever. Once upon a time not long ago, 
there was a time not long ago when I thought it'd be better if it closed, but it's like my home. It's where everyone in my world is. I can't let it close. Seeing Yukiko starting to, starting to face her true feelings. We done got closer. You gotta love Yukiko. 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 I don't want this move. This move sucks. Just a little longer. Hey, can you stay here just a little longer? My heart's still racing. Please. Thank you. I stayed with Yukiko for a while and I walked her to the end. Can I have multiple girlfriends? Like, can Yukiko be a side chick or something? Is that is that something I can do? Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inova was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. That boy is handsome. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. He got the toy Yoda on his chest? Oh, his uniform is the same as yours. Why you look so surprised by that? First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death. But when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? Uh-huh. When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Okay. But she just wanna want be like me. Come on, I'm a role model, man. I'm a role model. It, like, if you're gonna sit here and complain about it, you might as well go hang yourself about it. Like... Everybody wanna be like me. Everybody wanna be like me. Everybody wanna be like Tom. I'm a, hold on. I forgot how that Thanks song go. Why are you calling my name? Watch it, pal. Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Tokun was on. Yeah. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. He solved it though. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? I'm saying, they, 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 they caught him. They caught the suspect, and we found the suspect. Like, we knew who it was already. So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. I don't think he really cares. TV or not. Good morning. How you doing, pal? I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? I go ahead. I'll listen. First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. Indeed. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. Uh-huh. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. I think it was like me too sad. Like, he didn't care who he killed. It's like he just wanted to be famous, so he went after the people who was on TV because that would get more immediate coverage. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? I plead the fifth! Nah, yeah we did. Then allow me to state my point. 
Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? Yes, we do. There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances hey, in hey, order hey, to divert on. attention from yourselves. Hold on, see now that ladder need to be locked off the ladder because that is not what I did. That is not how it happened. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. Hey, 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 hey hold you on. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious. Slow your roll. This was a prior theory, since discarded. Ah, right, cool. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. He's smart! There is, in fact, a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. I think at that point he was just mad. He was like, ah, they keep killing me. So I'm just gonna kill somebody outside the TV. He has never been broadcast on television and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. Because the first two victims were killed by shadows. The third one was killed by Mitsuo himself. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. What the heck? The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Let's just bring the man into the TV already. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naoto-kun? Just bring the man into the TV already. I know this is where this. I know this is where it's going. So just let, let like take the man to the TV. Oh yeah, I do need to set the midnight channel. Will something appear on TV? Yeah, now to now to definitely dead. A silhouette appeared. The image is hazy, you can't tell who it is. It, but it's Naoto. But it's Naoto. Did you see that? Someone came on, right? Now that the killer's been caught, do we still gotta worry about the Midnight Channel? I mean, if he's trapped in the TV, then the killer isn't killing him, it's a shadow. But then someone said the blurry image seemed like an advance notice. What exactly is the Midnight Channel anyway? Did it have anything to do with the murders? What if it isn't an advance notice, but it's a warning? Like it's telling us what's gonna happen so we can help. Ah, uh, this is so frustrating. Hey, what do you think? Did you recognize who appeared just now? Now though, why would he show up on TV? Now that you mention it, I wonder what he thinks about the Midnight Channel. Oh, I don't get this at all. It's gonna keep nagging at me, I can tell. I'm sure the others saw it too, so let's get together tomorrow and talk about it. Night. Dear Lord. So, about the Midnight Channel last night, I wonder who that was. I talked to Teddy and he says no one's entered the other side. Huh? Well, yeah, the killer's been caught. Yeah. 
Huh? What's up? Come on, get with the program. You saw the TV last night, right? So? It's got nothing to do with us. The killer's behind bars, man. You guys are overreacting. She had that shit Nauto said didn't make any sense either. So there's no use getting all worked up about it. Huh? Nauto-kun? Uh, no, well... How do I put it? What, were you out of it because you were still thinking about what Nauto said? <laughs> so you're still hung up on all that stuff. What? That's... I ain't hung up on it. What are they talking about? It's okay. We all understand. What are they talking Just about? Go overboard, man. You little... I Ugh. said that's not it. I got stuff to do. I'm out of here. What are they talking about? Stop bringing that up, Yosuke. You know he doesn't think it's funny. What? What? Did something happen between Kanji and Naoto-kun? Are you talking about when Naoto called him, like, called him interesting or something? Well, that aside, is it me or does the town seem kind of strange lately? Everyone is in high spirits for some reason, and they all talk about other people, but never themselves. Really? I don't think it's anything special. Huh. Now that the murder case is solved, people feel relaxed, that's all. Okay. That's how society is. They all just want to get in on the latest trend. People get excited fast and lose interest even faster. It goes round and round. And there's no underlying reason for it. I don't know. It still seems a little too weird. It's like they're all afraid of something. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just had this feeling. Huh. Huh. It's gonna rain again tonight. We should check the Midnight Channel, just in case. Oh! Welcome back! Uh, welcome back. Gotta check it twice in a row. We already know who it freaking is. Oh, it's raining. Put your grippers away. The Midnight Channel came on. It's an extremely clear image. Good evening, everyone. I am the Detective Prince Naoto Shiragane. Welcome to Experiment of the Century, the Genome Project. I will be Experimentor and Experimentee both in a forbidden yet wonderful bodily alteration process. You shall witness my departure into a new realm. The moment of a new birth. From the chosen day forth, I shall walk a completely different path in life. And I will share this glorious occasion, this memorable day with all of you. Do stay tuned. Do stay tuned. That was definitely Naoto. Gotta talk about it tomorrow, man. You're right, you're right. Sorry, I called out of the blue. Being a detective, solving cases, it ain't worth shit if he gets himself kidnapped. Damn, that idiot pisses me off. Anyways, let's get the gang together and meet first thing after school. I'm going to bed early. I'm going to bed early. It's been raining for a few days, but I heard it's supposed to clear up in this afternoon. Really? Then I don't have to cancel my plans. You know, there's a holiday next week, right? I promised my girlfriend we'd go to Okina together. I was worried that it might rain that day. What? If that's the case, then I hope it never stops raining. Rain like a waterfall so his date gets canceled. Me when child support man got a girlfriend. With low key Last night on TV, downfall. that was now to con for sure. Oh my goodness, thank you for stating the obvious. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? 
I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course! That's why no token appeared on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? Oh, maybe. We came to the same conclusion he did about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? That's why he's the experimenter and experimentee. You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Shut up. Oh! That idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? Kanji, you mad because your boyfriend got kidnapped? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... He's trying to catch us red-handed. That's what he's doing. He's trying to... He, he wants to figure out what we have to do with everything. I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? That's what he's trying to do. He's as smart. That's smart. He knows that we're the ones saving the people who get kidnapped. So he got kidnapped on purpose to see what... To, to, to prove, to officially confirm our role in this. Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? I don't think it's a new killer. I, I don't think... I don't think going to the TV world has anything to do with the killer, actually. I don't think it does. At this point. But maybe... Maybe my theory from before is correct. After we first caught Mitsuo, maybe my theory is correct. He got his persona, and now he's do and now he's able to like do more things. Maybe he's doing this remotely. I don't know. A new killer? I don't know. Wait, didn't Naotokun mention this? How it was clear what Mr. Moraoka's cause of death was, as opposed to the other two victims? Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? I mean, but he admitted to killing everyone else. That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. What I think is this. He was throwing him into the TV. But the thing is, we were stopping him. So he literally was just like, all right, bro, I'm just gonna beat this dude to death. See, see if they can stop that. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naoto-kun, that's the real killer? Man... But, but, wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? Yes. And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders, too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but, um... Spit it out. To hell with someone who's behind bars! If we don't get off our asses, that stupid <clears throat> Naoto's gonna die in there! We gotta go find him! Look at Kanji concerned about it. Let me stop with that, let me stop with that. Kanji gonna jump through the TV and beat the crap out of me. Someone's definitely in here. And the world seems to have grown larger. That's amazing, Rise-chan! There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? What are you doing? Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. Damn it. There's too much we don't know about that kid. But if we don't do something, he's gonna... Hey! This is just like all the other times. Let's not panic, keep an eye on the weather, and do this like always. We'll save him no problem. First, we need to look for something that'll help us locate him. I, I know. I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. 
So all we gotta do is get him out. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. Then I could find him for sure. We need information to progress. Naoto? He's got pretty popular, hasn't he? Well, I heard a rumor that there's this girl who saw something that belonged to him. Must have been near the laboratories. Laboratories. Why don't you try looking there? Wanna hear about Shiragane? Oh, this is really interesting. I saw him get really angry. I'm not sure what it was, but he was with the policeman. I wonder what happened to make him shout like that. This was in the shopping district a while ago. Yeah, I'm cheating. What you gonna do about it? I'm confused. Alright, Officer Small Balls. How you doing? I'm in the middle of something here, so don't bother me. School's out, go home. I swear kiss these days. Move! You guys are busy with me, kid. Herc. Just because I don't look it, I'm still busy, you know? Yo, my boy Naruto ain't been coming to school. I'm a little worried. Shiragane, you know him? I haven't seen him at the station lately either. Funny, it wasn't in, it wasn't that long ago, and he'd be well into the night looking through the files. If it, even if he is even if he wasn't a, a satisfied with the case's outcome, he seemed to be so focused that I thought he was obsessed with it. I'm gonna talk to another guy. You looking for a police officer? I've seen them a lot lately. I think they're patrolling around here. Oh, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Emperor of the universe has returned. Never end it when I step to the mic, I'll be murdering it. How can I help you? Did you see someone suspicious? Yo, now it's been coming to school lately, man. I'm a little worried. That kid is skipping school to do his investigation. What's his problem, really? The department has all but closed the case just because he's not satisfied. Sheesh. All we want to do is shut the book on this thing so we don't have to deal with it anymore. I wish he'd let it go already. No wonder the whole department treats him like a kid. He's getting all worked up over nothing. That's why everyone gives him the cold shoulder, you know? Regarding this investigation, you've discovered that... He has an obsession with this case. They consider him a child. It seems Naruto had a fervent obsession with this investigation, but it seems that his obsession was not overseen and the police treated him like a child. I understand that boy a little better. I understand that boy a little better. I understand that boy a little better. I'll do my furry best! Shut up. Come on, boy. Oh, Senpai, find any clues? Tell me quick and I'll find them in a jiffy. Did... Told Risa about him being treated like a child and his abnormal obsession with the case. I see. So he's being stubborn about the case. But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. Okay, I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. It won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. Get to it, girl. Chop, chop. Look at your boy, Leo. What is this place? It's all sci fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live action shows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. Facts. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action-based, like kung fu movies. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it. I totally hear you. Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques. What the? 
got it all wrong. Has a, 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 a imaginative imagination. But hey, so this secret hideout thingy came from Naoto's mind? I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looks. All right, let's get going. We have pinpointed his there. We gotta save that boy though. 